Okay, welcome back to Strasburg. Have a little trouble with our phone lines here, but I think we're up and running. I got uh, Greg Urbina out here right now at 120 pounds, taking on R- Riley Twaits. Twaits uh, four and thirteen on the year. Eric ten and seven. Eric's up uh, two nothing now. He figures down eighteen six on the team side. Urbina's got a cradle locked up and over goes Twaits and. Only for a one count, I think, maybe two. There it comes back with a good hard cross face. And uh, a little pick and step move. Now he's trying to work for a cradle again. That doesn't work. It keeps that cross face in, traps that far elbow. Now try it from the left side. And he's got his leg in there, jerking him over. No back exposure yet, but... Uh, Twaits uh, caught a hand and peeled that away. Venus, the double with Grapevine in there for a moment. Now he's trying to power half. half gives up on that. Twaits building a base. Good job by your Urbina. Kind of side drag. Grab that near arm. Throw it back into a hammerlock. Got that right arm trapped there with his knee. With the cross face in there. And we'll go to the second period. Two to nothing for Gary Cubina. Okay. The beat diggers are listed as green tonight, so uh, it'll be beat diggers' choice here at 120 pounds. Cubina up two nothing. Zach Donball stepping in at 113 for the beat diggers. Lost his match by. A pin at 358 of their match. Rubina working off the bottom here in the second period. He's trying to keep his hands from being tied up. Bring it. Kind of stand up, peel away, or run away, and go up by three without escape. Rubina out in front with a little headlock, a little arm roll. Come up. Here's here, right in by the Strasburg. This nice double leg tackle by Urbina. He works up to the knees. His head caught underneath. But right here at that side, so it's a little noisy. There's now good job by Urbina. He's got their weights, plates. That's a right plates, 113 sophomore. That's five to nothing for the beat digger. Is there being working right on the edge, right here, uh, the right side of the mat? Being trying to drag him back in, but the officials so say you're not going anywhere. Let's head back to the center. 49 seconds left here, second period. It's long and tall. And he'll face away from us. And Arbino will grab an ankle and a tight waist. But uh, Brady gets that hammer lock back there on the uh, right arm this time. And to set that up with a tight waist. Working over here to the near side. To be trying to get that cross face in it, post that elbow. Comes right back to that. Now trying to pick up the near leg and go for a cross face cradle. Now he's cranking it. He's got it locked up. Steps out to the side. Slowly they go over. And Clayton's is looking at the light. The mat light here is crossbar. Clayton's is bridging hard. And he's going to survive the period. But he'll be down eight to nothing if we get into third period. Okay. Right, so take neutral. And we'll go on our feet here in the third period. Strasburg in the red. Oh, long range uh, double leg. Oh, nice job by Urbina. He's going to set him right over for the takedown. Now he's got a half Nelson trying to run it at that far wrist, running that half Nelson, sinking it in there deep. There's a one count. Now he's got him locked up. Big high kicks by Twites, but there'll be a pin for the beat diggers. There's Eubina. 
same period then. And that comes uh, at 4.28 of the match. So Eric can you know, pick up a win for the Bee Diggers. Uh, and Mario Franco uh, picked up a forfeit win for the Bee Diggers at 106. So let's see where we're at on the team score. It's 18 for uh, the Strasburg Indians and 12 for the Bee Diggers. And next up will be Melvin Hernandez. And Melvin will take on Gabe Erdahl. Erdahl, a uh, freshman with the 2-6 uh, and six record. Melvin Hernandez, 4-12 and 12 record for the Beat Diggers. I think he's a junior. And they shake hands. And a quick shot there by the Strasburg Indians. Hernandez trying to get out of that single leg. And working from the top. He's got a half Nelson now. And he's still trying to get that leg free. There's a hard cross face by Hernandez. This is Melvin. He's off to the side. He's got that reverse grapevine in there. That should be a takedown. He's got that reverse grapevine in there. And gets cross face in there. Turtle reaches back, grabs him deep. And is out to the front. 111 left in the first period. They work over the edge, and they'll be out of bounds. Still no score. So we'll go on our feet. A little faint there by Erdahl. Another tie up here to here. Uh, pops, around, pops him down, gets behind him, gets the takedown. Peter nothing scoring for Melvin Hernandez. As he's trying to get that little head lever in. Got the tight waist. It's a cross face. And then it's not quite as tall. as then up to his feet goes Gabe Erdahl. Hernandez breaks him down the knee. Erdahl's hooked up a knee of Hernandez and is going to work under and try to break that single leg. Erdahl working that. But single leg. Hernandez draped over the top. Now he gets a little better riding position. Erdahl tripods up. Hernandez trying to bust him down. He's on their feet. Going to pick him up, picks him up, and just drops him. Almost the lateral drop. No back exposure. So Melvin will be up 2 nothing as we head to the second period. So, be Melvin's choice. He'll take down. He moves in on the right side. Real slow on the whistle. You know, Melvin kind of sets out and there you get a lot of hands off. That'll cost the Strasburg wrestler a point. We'll have to restart. Only three seconds gone here in the second period. Hernandez sets. Indians in that red singlet with the like a black shorts. It's in the grapevine by... Uh, Erdahl, entered a little roll, and Hernandez kind of got him almost in a Peterson roll look. Got a one-arm headlock on Erdahl. Erdahl keeps a leg in there. Now Hernandez trying to work out of this. There's a leg scissor there by Erdahl. And Hernandez can't get his leg free or reach a hand back there trying to pull that leg out of there. Erdahl just Hanging on to that hand of that one arm headlock by Hernandez. Hernandez even grabs his own foot. And we're going to get a stalemate. So we'll have to restart. 106 on the clock, second period. Three to nothing for the beat digger. Melvin Hernandez, he'll get set. 
Word it all. Get on the right side. Fernandez trying to block that. Grabs it. Hand and he gets caught in a headlock. Oh, so we got a figure four on the body. So that's going to be another penalty point on Erdo. It's a 4 0. Erdo moves in again. And we're underway. Set out by Hernandez. And it, Heard all says thank you. He puts the uh, scissor to nope, another figure four. Uh oh. That's going to be two point penalty. Uh, I was going to say he had, a, had him across the throat. And I think he had a scissor. There's a quick switch by Hernandez. He's going to get an escape. And now he gets a single leg by Erdahl. So Erdahl in there close. And Hernandez will run away, and Erdahl with a shot, big sprawl by uh, Hernandez out to the side, and will be out of bounds. Seven to nothing for Hernandez. Twenty-nine seconds left, second period. Okay, we're going to try to restart here. And this pushes Erdahl off the edge. Erdahl's really slowed down now here. He was wrestling a real fast man. Now Erdahl, a nice double leg tackle. He's going to get a takedown right at the edge. Seven seconds left here in the period. Make it seven to two. And we'll head to the next period. And coaches, we want to double check the score. And going over the scoring here, I got untracked. I got two, three, four, five, six. And he's got seven. Uh, so they're still arguing it over. Don't forget. Uh, our opening match is brought to you by Buildings by Design. When it comes to experience, Buildings by Design is the best in the business. Quality, commitment, and experience makes Buildings by Design the only choice when it comes to your next project. And Western Engineering Consultants, engineering and consulting services for all your projects. Strong commitment to their clients' needs sets them apart. Get your project started the right way with Western Engineering Consultants. Give Chad Cox a call over there. And of course, Stubbs Gas and Oil. Fill up your cooler, gas up your car at Stubbs Gas and Oil. They're easy and convenient. Make them the only stop you need on the way to the big game. I'm sure a lot of big, bigger fans stop there on the way down tonight. Make that track down through Prospect Valley. Turn off there at Wiggins, right by Stubbs. Okay, it's going to be seven to two still. Four penalty points on uh, Ertl, so can't afford to have any more. But going on our feet here. Third period, year to year, and then it's kind of hard snap down. So fight set off now, right back to the front headlock, and then it's trying to slip around. Erdahl's got a single leg. He's got the off leg, and then he's trying to fight that off. He's got a half Nelson almost in there. Now he'll power it up off that single leg by Erdahl. It sort of stayed with it. Erdahl hasn't been able to do anything with a single leg. That nice double leg tackle earlier. Now he's, Fernandez is going to be taken down. So that will make it seven to four. Heard all of the grapevine in there. And uh, kind of rolling over. He keeps a leg in there. Well, it's a double grapevine. And Hernandez is on his back, giving up back points. And Heard all cranking uh, him. And he was almost pinned himself. Now Hernandez gets back on his stomach. And we're going to get a 
we got another figure four on the body, and that's going to be too many penalties on uh, Erdahl. And it'll be Fernandez getting a win, but a tough battle with Gabe Erdahl. How about that? Let's take a timeout. We'll be back in a moment on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Okay, welcome back. For the Beat Diggers at 132, Austin Sisk is stepping in. He's going against Sean Nelson. Nelson, a freshman, 0-2 on the year. Austin Sisk, tall and lanky for the Beat Diggers. And we're underway on the red map with the black uh, 10-foot circle out there. Sisk reached for a single leg, hooks that up, and works up and... Gets his head out there in a little better riding position and gets to take that. You know, Austin, it's like you're setting up an arm bar. Yeah. He's got kind of a chicken wing in there, a little bit high with it, with a tight waist. I was trying to snap back, but rolling through it was Sean Nelson from Strasburg. Let's progress the at a loose headlock on this. They work right here to the edge. Going to have two points inbound. And they're working right here in front of the Strasburg ref. <laughs> Cheerleaders. The referee's going to blow the whistle. 102 on the clock. Tied up 18-18 on the team score. And a quick stand up. Ooh, by the... Sean Nelson and Strauss gets driven down down by half. Nelson by six. He's got him turned. Gets the test to the high bridge by Nelson. And he's trying to keep those shoulders off there. He's just got a pretty good headlock on him. He's got his arm about through there. Can't quite put him away. Now he's going to lock it up a little tighter. Here the coach is trying to help him out there. Just sinks that half a little bit deeper. Some big long arms aren't cooperating. Now he gets reaches out, gets that far arm, stretches it out. And looking back at the coaches, they're trying to <laughs> tell him how to do it from there. You know, he's been around in a circle and he'll have a big period. A three point near fall by Austin Zisk. So we'll head to the second period with Austin up by a score of 5 0. Tied up team side, 18 18. Most of the scoring off of the forfeits. Okay, Zisk will be on the bottom. Nelson trying to keep him from standing up. Almost locked hands. Nice job of stepping. Setting out, stepping down, around, setting out, excuse me. And Nelson, uh, Nelson's got his leg tied up. Now he's just got him on his back again. And just trying to fight out of there. Oh, nice job by assistant Nelson. Nelson set out and almost turned into him. We're going to have three more near fall points going Austin's way. We'll make it 10 to nothing. nothing. Stand up here. But this brings him back down. <laughs> and everybody yelling half. Austin trying to get that half out there. It's blocked by Tom Nelson of Oxford, the freshman. Right, here comes a good half Nelson by six. And he's picking up some back force. Right, kind of looking away from us. 
Yeah, down there looking. Looks like he's been on this side. I can't tell the other side. As they're holding with 43 seconds, and there's a pin win for Austin Zisk. This might be his first uh, varsity match in a while. That'll put the beat diggers up. How about that? Pin win by Austin Zisk over Sean Nelson. And that comes at 318 of the match. Okay. State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, Greg Mullen and his team are there to make the insurance world easy for you. Call them at 842-4555. That's State Farm Insurance. And stop by and see Greg and have him fix you up. Okay, Bryce. Bryce Thomas taking on Jacob Paco. Paco is sophomore. Bryce is a junior. I didn't get that written down. Bryce got on his knee out there. Buckles a flat collar. Oh, Bryce, nice job. Ducks under. Got a single leg. Uh, Buckle with a good sprawl. Bryce staying with it. Goes to the double leg. Lifts him up. Sets him down. And there's a takedown for Bryce. But uh, Buckle almost got out of there. Now Bryce can get back in a little better riding position. Sets up a tilt and over goes Buckle. Get him in that tilt. He's not going to pin him from there, I don't think, but he's going to rack up some back points. Let's go of that so he gets a takedown. Three point near fall. Working a cradle. Trying to lock that up. He's showing that experience. Over goes Paco. And getting that knee in the side, and there's a pin on, from my view, but the pencil's on the other side. There's cheerleaders here. Oh, there's another three point near fall. There's Thomas. He reaches underneath, gets caught in a one arm headlock, but pops his head out, throws a half Nelson, steps out to the side with it, and throws him over to his back. He's got him down for the pin. Big pin win for the beat diggers there. Experience showing on that one. So uh, that one comes at one. Uh, 40 of them at, uh, excuse me, 139, uh, 131. Math is never my great sport, so. Okay, B Diggers take the lead now, 30 to 18. And we'll have Hunter Bloodgate stepping in at 145 against Logan Holdridge. They're stepping up from 138. Or maybe down. But anyway, we're going with Hunter. They're located at 145. He had been wrestling 152. So, so we're under underway. Logan Holdridge, 3 and 8 on the years of sophomore. They go forehead to forehead. Right back to the 10 foot circle, banging foreheads. A big push by, oh, and a little throw there, kind of a, more of a throw by by Hunter. I think, I think he did that on purpose, and he gets the takedown. Looking at two on one, rolls him over in that suicide tilt. Didn't get any back points out of that. He's a little rolling too fast. Uh, he gets that hard cross face, going for a cross face cradle. Lifting and driving, and over he goes. Pulls him back into him. Logan Holdridge on his back for the pin. Oh, man, I can do 54 seconds. How about that? It should make this 36-18. The beat diggers will double it up here. There's Hunter Lake Floodgate uh, uh, moved down. So no wrestler for the beat diggers at 152, nor any wrestlers for... Uh, Strasburg. So we're going to jump from 152 to 170. Chase Krieger uh, not there tonight either. And we'll have open there. Wyatt Fowl will take on Blake Combs. Combs a sophomore. Also 17 and 7 on the year going against Brush's number one ranked Wyatt Fowl. It should be Red's choice. 
Fish are getting that straight before we start. And we're underway. Shot by Coos. Foul just pushes his head down, jumps around behind him, and rolls him over. He's got a leg in there, I think, and got him turned up just a headlock and picking up some back points. Yeah, he'll let go of that one. He foul with takedown and a two point near fall, three point near fall. Yeah, that locks up the hands underneath. Putting an arm bar in there. And he's picking up some back points again. Gonna reinforce that arm bar underneath. Another, another three point near fall. And now he comes back with a got that cross face, locks up a cradle. And foul. Trying to suicide him over, and over he goes. Foul picking up some more back points. 58 seconds left and counting. And three more near fall points. And that puts us up 11 to nothing. And here comes another tilt. Counting one, two, three, four, not quite five. Two near fall points. It's 13 nothing, and foul now goes to a cross-face cradle. It's going to suicide him over again and try to hold him there for the pin. And he kicks loose out of that. It'll be 16-0. And why a foul? We got uh, a 141 pin. For, oh, excuse me, 141 tech fall for why a foul. 16-0. Yeah, they'll make the score bump up to 41 beat diggers, 18 for Strasburg. Nick Wellen uh, is going to pick up a forfeit win for the beat diggers, so he'll make it 47-18. And this will be our last match. There's 195. We'll have Thomas Metlin taking on Trevor Smith. Trevor's a junior, eight and seven on the year. Of course, the beat there's uh, well officials over talking to the scores board again. And while they do that, how about Cargill Meat Solutions? Cargill works with the community, makes sure that jobs for the members of the communities they're in. Cargill works with that community, including Cargill Meat Solutions, and we're underway. Our last match, Thomas Metlin against Trevor Smith. Smith, a good size for a sophomore. Metlin, in, oh, a nice little fireman carry. Then he puts Smith right to his back, gets chest to chest, and Smith trying to uh, bridge out of there, but he won't. The fastest spin of the night, 17 seconds for Thomas Metlin. How about that? Another win for the beat diggers. Boy. So that's it for the duel. Beat uh, uh, kind of outmatching Strasburg, but they give them all a battle. So let's take a short time out, and we'll come back and wrap up uh, our coverage here tonight on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Okay, and welcome back. Beat Diggers win the duel 52-18 unofficially. We started out at 220. Uh, beat diggers give up four foot at two Chad Sutherland of uh, Strasburg and at 285 they give up four fit win to uh, for Strasburg Jesse Burt freshman then we drop down to 106 pounds and beat diggers pick up a four fit win uh, by Mario Franco uh, and then our first match of the night was Zach uh, Donbaugh and uh, Zach uh, went out but lost by a fall at 358 to Spencer Nuttall. And Nuttall was sophomore, 13-11 record for Strasburg. At 120 pounds, Eric Urbina got a 428-10 over Riley Twaits. At 126, Melvin Hernandez uh, ends up with the uh, fall over uh, 
Gabe Erdahl. No, excuse me. That was a uh, it, it was a uh, penalty point. Four penalty points. Or excuse me. Four penalties. So it was a technical uh, fall for uh, Melvin Hernandez uh, by a forfeit, I guess, or penalties anyway. Got to remember and go back. You don't see that happen very often. Uh, and then at uh, 132, Bryce Austin Zisk stepped in for Bryce Thomas and got a pin at 318 over Sean Nelson of Strasburg. Sean, a freshman with an 0 and 2 record, 0 and 3 now. 138, Jacob Pakel, sophomore, went against uh, Bryce Thomas, and Bryce got a 131 pin over him. 145, Hunter Ludgate stepped in for Oswaldo Nunez and got a pin in 54 seconds over Logan Holdridge, a sophomore 3 and 8 record uh, for Strasburg. And no wrestlers at 152 or 160 for the beat diggers. Wyatt Fowl come in and got a 141 uh, tech fall, 16 0 over Blake Combs. Uh, Blake. Uh, sophomore a 17 and 7 record. Then at 182, Nick Wellen picked up a forfeit win for the Beat Diggers. Uh, but, and then Thomas Metlin finished it off with 17 seconds with a pin over Trevor Smith, an 8 and 7 junior for Strasburg. So that was the whole match. Picking up, rolling up the mats here now. So I want to thank. Uh, Mr. Dees, they do our post-match uh, wrap-up. They're a proud supporter of all our area athletes. Mr. Dees, they'll serve you with all your home, farm, and ranch supplies. Three locations to serve you, Sterling, Brush, and Fort Morgan. You need it, they probably got it there. Aces, Mr. Dees, Ace Home Center. Okay, and don't forget B&B Appliance. Speaking about hometown Companies, B&B Appliance, can help you with all your appliance needs. Stop and see what they can do for you. Check them out on Ensign Street and Fort Morgan, that's B&B Appliance. TransWest. TransWest believes that customers are number one. Check out their selection online or just stop by one of their dealerships in Fort Morgan or Sterling today. That's TransWest. Got all kinds of neat pickups, cars, you name it. TransWest and Bank of Colorado. It's the only bank dedicated to help you make the most of living here. They're not just a bank in Colorado. They're Bank of Colorado, proud supporter of local sports and academics. Stop by and see Mike and Brush or a gang up in Fort Morgan, too. And Sterling has one. They're all over the place. BC Ice, crystal clear ice, good for any drink at any time of the year. You can pick up AC Ice at any local grocery and convenience store. In northeastern Colorado, that's clear, pure AC ice. Colorado Plains Medical Center, CPMC, has experienced physicians and a highly trained surgical team trained in the latest surgical procedures. Explore what procedures are possible in your hometown, Colorado Plains Medical Center. And Willow Coffee and Bake Shop. Get a delicious treat, breakfast, or lunch option to make the day better. Stop by at their store there right on Edison Street. In uh, Ray and Brush today. Willow Coffee and Bake Shop. Got all the good stuff down there. And High Plains Bank. See what over a century of customer service can do for you at High Plains Bank and Wiggins. Offering you a variety of banking needs, including agriculture and personal loans. That's High Plains Bank. And Ingmar Phillips Insurance. Things happen in life. Make sure you're prepared with the right insurance coverage. Ingmar Phillips insurance in Brush and Fort Morgan. And don't forget Northeastern Junior College. Check out their wrestling program, too. There's plainsmen out there. they got all kinds of stuff going on. When it comes to your future, though, Northeastern is miles ahead. In their college, it's close to home. It's Northeastern Junior College. And also Morgan Community College. Morgan Community College is there to make your dreams become a reality. For both traditional and non-traditional students, my wife's a graduate of there. Well, actually, both Northeastern and uh, Morgan Community College. Check them out at morgancc.edu. Okay, 
pretty much wraps it up. We've got a long ways to go. Beat Digger's uh, schedule will drag that out. And uh, we had the Strasburg duel tonight. They're going to head down to Garden City to the Rocky Welton Invitational with the varsity. And uh, JV will head up to Platte Valley for the Platte Valley duel. So a lot of stuff going on for the Beat Diggers this weekend. Next week, or excuse me, January 31st, Valley duel. We'll have Valley at Brush. That'll start at 630. So next Thursday night. Get ready for more wrestling here on 1010 KSIR, or just come out and see it live. It'll be great. So we'll be back on the air next Thursday, too. I think that's 31st. Have to double-check that calendar, don't we all? Okay. Just want to thank again this uh, is brought to you by Equable Savings Alone. Mobile banking on the go makes banking easier for you when you're on the go. Check it out today. And Buildings by Design. When it comes to experience, Buildings by Design is the best in the business. Quality, commitment, and experience makes Building by Design the only choice when it comes to your next project. Okay, so that wraps it up here. We got, uh, let's see, go back through our wins. Mario Franco had a forfeit win. Uh, Eric Urbina with a pin win. Melvin Hernandez, uh, with a pin win, Bryce Thomas with a pin win, uh, Austin Zisk with a pin win, and let's see, nobody at Hunter Ludkate with a pin win, nobody at 152 and 160, Wyatt Fowl with a tech ball win, and Thomas Metlin with a pin win. So only one match is won by uh, Strasburg. That was Spencer Nuttall with the fall over brushes, uh, Zach. Don Ball. So, okay, that does it. Uh, Beat Diggers won the duel 52 18. And of course, stay tuned to 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We'll say good night from Strasbourg.